With challenges of population growth, the need to address sustainable development has become a global priority. Access to renewable sources of energy is a fundamental answer to this problem and leaders of all nations are in the position to encourage and influence energy policies and legislation in their respective countries to aid in this urgent matter. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association of the UK, the United Nations Development Programme and the Parliament of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago hosted the Caribbean Regional Workshop in Port of Spain from December 7 to 10, 2015. This collaborative effort sought to empower regional leaders in an effort to achieve sustainable development goals and provide them with tools needed to make an impact on a national level. During the workshop, interviews were conducted with some of the participants to capture their views of the roles of parliamentarians in the successful implementation and achievement of SDGs. Paul Lewis. Describe your experience with the subject of the workshop, which is sustainability, energy, and development within the context of sustainable development goals. Energy, of course, is critical. Uh, back home, we uh, generate energy for 100% fossil fuels and spend significant amount of finance in importing diesel, etc. And of course, we are not able to keep that at any sustainable level. That's not sustainable for our island. Therefore, the critical component of sustainability, utilizing sustainable energy and introducing renewables such as solar, geothermal, and to some extent wind is key for Montserrat in terms of achieving sustainable development. We actually, in the process of exploring or should I say we already put in place two wells, production wells and of course in the process of drilling a third well. The next step would be the generating plant, geothermal generating plant. Also in the process of uh, constructing a uh, one megawatt solar plant. This is key because if we can successfully implement these renewables onto the grid then we'll be in a position to make significant savings in terms of the amount of finance we will have to know we could save instead of using it to buy fossil fuel. And in terms of keeping a sustainable means of um, supporting our energy bill, uh, renewables will of course be key. What are the main opportunities and challenges the Caribbean currently faces in terms of energy and sustainable development? The Caribbean, we depend a lot on tourism, and therefore it's seasonal. Therefore, there's times when you have the slow season, and uh, it's important that we need to diversify. Of course, we are not blessed with the level of financial resources as some of the more developed nations. Therefore, we have a challenge or disadvantage in terms of raising revenue for development in terms of even reaching out to the poor for even simple amenities, simple services that you must have. One of the areas where we could try and capitalize on that is to utilize our natural resources. We have solar. And if for argument's sake that there's some persons who are not able to afford electricity, I see no problem in having a pilot where for a particular community you could implement certain renewables so that solar for example and of course we could find grant funds for doing this and of course just making sure that there's minimal maintenance necessary for these persons to survive because it's important that regardless of whatever your financial situation that you're living at a certain standard at least that is what the sustainable development goals are all about in order to have affordable electricity to and clean electricity to all in the population, regardless of what your financial status is. How do you envisage the role of parliamentarians with regard to the SDGs? The first thing we must do is go back to the people. We've got to make sure that we educate them and inform them as to what these goals are, what are the sustainable development goals. 
and get a buying in terms of what aspect of these goals they believe will be to their benefit. That's the first step. We must get the, the buying from the public. Then, of course, there's that buying we must get from those who fund, who will fund the projects. We must get them convinced that this is the best way to go and how it will benefit them and what is in it, in it for them. Then we need to take it to another level. The interest groups, they're also sometimes to, to, to start this process, it might take one politician, one parliamentarian, but he or she must then go and convince the others, whether at a cabinet level and then at the legislative level. The politician has to do just what they did when they are campaigning. It's a campaign. You're running a campaign, just that you're running a campaign about sustainable development, sustainable energy. And you must convince the people who you want to buy into it, that include the public, it include those who are going to fund it, and of course those who are going to pass the legislation. So it is a comprehensive approach that one has to take if you want to implement it successfully.